Jupiter, known as the king of the planets, is an enormous celestial body that scientists believe can provide insights into the formation of the solar system. While ancient civilizations saw it as a wandering star, it wasn't until 1610 that Galileo used a small telescope to observe Jupiter in detail, discovering its largest moons. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Building on Galileo's work, nine robotic spacecraft have visited Jupiter, with two entering orbit to study its complex and dynamic atmosphere. These missions have greatly advanced our knowledge of the planet, though many questions remain, such as what lies beneath its vibrant, swirling clouds and at its core. Jupiter's massive size has had a significant impact on the solar system's history. To better understand our own planet, it's essential to study how Jupiter formed. NASA's Juno mission, which entered Jupiter's orbit in July 2016, aimed to investigate the gas giant's mysterious, cloud-covered interior. If Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be comparable to a basketball. As one moves deeper into Jupiter's atmosphere, the pressure and temperature rise dramatically, creating a unique environment. The atmosphere consists of several layers with gradual transitions and vast distances between them. The planet's iconic stripes and swirls are made up of cold, dense clouds of ammonia and water in a hydrogen and helium atmosphere. These clouds obscure the planet's interior, but Juno's scientific instruments have allowed researchers to study what's happening beneath the surface. Below the thick, chaotic clouds, which extend for hundreds of miles, pressure and temperature steadily increase, turning the hydrogen gas into a liquid and forming the solar system's largest ocean, though it's an ocean of hydrogen, not water. On Earth, elements typically exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, depending on pressure and temperature. While hydrogen gas can be artificially liquefied on Earth, this transformation occurs naturally inside Jupiter due to immense pressures, potentially 500,000 times that at sea level, and extreme temperatures, possibly reaching 1,700 degrees Celsius, 3,100 degrees Fahrenheit. This process is akin to sinking through thickening fog until you're submerged in a liquid. Jupiter's ocean of liquid hydrogen becomes even stranger at greater depths. Here, the liquid hydrogen behaves like a metal due to the extreme pressure, which compresses the hydrogen atoms so tightly that their electrons are freed. These free electrons can move through the liquid, generating electrical currents that, along with the planet's rapid rotation, likely contribute to Jupiter's strong magnetic field. At these depths, the temperature can soar to around 10,000 degrees Celsius, 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This ocean of liquid metallic hydrogen likely makes up most of Jupiter's interior, surrounding its mysterious core. The core is under incredible pressure, estimated at 100 million times that of Earth's sea level atmosphere. Juno's observations revealed unexpected findings about Jupiter's core. Scientists initially believed the core would be a compact, dense object, similar in size to Earth, made of heavy elements like silicate rock and iron. However, Juno discovered that the core is diffuse, with no clear boundaries, mixing into the surrounding liquid metallic hydrogen. This suggests that Jupiter may have collided with a large protoplanet early in its history, during a time when the solar system was young and turbulent. Computer simulations indicate that a collision with a rocky planet, roughly 10 times the size of Earth, with a dense core, could have dispersed and diluted Jupiter's core for billions of years. However, researchers still need more information about the interiors of Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to determine whether Jupiter's core is unique or if the giant impact theory is correct. Beneath Jupiter's majestic clouds lies a strange and extreme environment, hot, intense, and mysterious. 
This environment holds secrets that continue to puzzle scientists, with Jupiter's enigmatic core remaining a mystery, albeit one that we are gradually uncovering. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has fascinated scientists and astronomers for centuries. With its colorful bands and swirling storms, the planet presents a captivating image to observers. However, beneath its mesmerizing cloud tops lies a world of mystery and intrigue. Unlike Earth, which has a solid surface, Jupiter is a gas giant with a complex and largely hidden internal structure. To understand what it's like inside Jupiter, we must journey beyond the familiar clouds and delve into the planet's deeper layers. The Cloud Tops, a dynamic atmosphere. The most visually striking aspect of Jupiter is its atmosphere, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium. The uppermost layer consists of clouds made of ammonia ice crystals, which form the planet's distinctive bands of white, red, orange, and brown. These bands are created by strong winds, known as zonal jets, which can reach speeds of up to 400 miles per hour, about 640 kilometers per hour. The Great Red Spot, a massive storm larger than Earth, has been raging for centuries, illustrating the dynamic and turbulent nature of Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Below the clouds, the gaseous envelope, Beneath the cloud tops, Jupiter's atmosphere transitions into a thick layer of gas. The temperature and pressure increase as one descends deeper into this gaseous envelope. While the upper atmosphere is relatively cold, with temperatures around 145 degrees Celsius, 234 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature rises significantly as the pressure increases with depth. This gradient causes the hydrogen and helium gases to become denser, creating a fluid-like state where gases flow like liquids. The transition zone, metallic hydrogen. As we venture further inward, the pressure becomes immense, about three million times the atmospheric pressure on Earth. At these extreme pressures, hydrogen undergoes a phase transition and behaves like a metallic substance. This region, known as metallic hydrogen, is a unique state where hydrogen's electrons are free to move, much like in a metal. This metallic hydrogen is thought to be a vast, electrically conductive layer surrounding Jupiter's core. It is responsible for Jupiter's powerful magnetic field, which is the strongest of any planet in the solar system. The core, a possible solid heart. At the heart of Jupiter, it is believed there lies a core composed of heavier elements, though its exact nature remains uncertain. The core could be a solid, rocky, and icy mixture, or it might be a dense, superheated slurry of molten material. Estimates suggest the core's mass could be up to 25 times that of Earth. The high pressures and temperatures in this region, possibly exceeding 20,000 degrees Celsius, 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit, make it challenging to study directly, leaving much to theoretical models and indirect observations. The Mysteries and Exploration Despite our advancements in planetary science, much about Jupiter's interior remains a mystery. Missions like NASA's Juno spacecraft have provided valuable data using instruments to measure gravity, magnetic fields, and atmospheric composition. These observations help scientists refine their models and hypotheses about the planet's structure. Juno's findings suggest that Jupiter may not have a sharp boundary between its core and surrounding layers, indicating a gradual transition between different materials. Conclusion the journey inside Jupiter reveals a world vastly different from our own. From the familiar sight of its swirling clouds to the exotic and extreme conditions of its deeper layers, Jupiter's interior is a realm of high pressure, temperature, and unique states of matter. While much is still unknown, the exploration of this gas giant continues to captivate our imagination and drive scientific inquiry. As we learn more about Jupiter, 
we not only expand our understanding of this colossal planet, but also gain insights into the formation and dynamics of gas giants throughout the universe, throughout 